Just a quick addendum that I thought about, um, and this is unverified, so take it for what you will. Um, I was thinking about a concept that some people uh, get told that when we see a person who's handicapped, see somebody who's got a genetic abnormality, a physical abnormality, a mental abnormality, a psychological abnormality, um, we're taught by our rabbis to treat that person on a very high level. How many of you ever heard that before? That that person has very little left in their life that they need to make a rectification on. You know, every soul comes down on this earth and has to accomplish a certain things. Has to become rectified. And sometimes it takes us six, seven times to come down till our souls are finally rectified fully. And a person sometimes we see that's handicapped, they've, they've got very little left. They, 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 don't, they don't need to do so much. I mean, if, if you picture somebody who doesn't have a limb to put tefillin on, maybe he's all tefillined up. That's not a part of his soul that needs, uh, that needs, uh, need, needs, needs fixing. And so we're taught that that person is on like a very righteous level, level of like the highest sadhana. And so we should treat that person with reverence, with awe, with fear, with respect. Okay. So my rabbis have told me that. And um, it's something we accept, but I feel like it's hard to see it. So I did a little bit of thinking, and I thought of, like, what's a defect? I don't know much Hebrew, but uh, some Hebrew word I know is a word called mum. means a blemish. Mem vav mem. And... Um, a mum can, can, can have a Kohen not able to do his avoda, do his worship in the temple. A mum can also prevent somebody from doing certain mitzvot. Um, and we're taught not to have pity on that person, but instead to give, instead to, to, show, to show a great deal of awe, a great deal of respect. So one way that I thought of that was what name of Hashem do we show great respect to, great awe? What stirs fear inside of us? Elohim, the name of judgment, the name of din of Hashem. And that name of Hashem adds up to 86. Same gematria as mum, as blemish. And what we learned previously was that Hashem's kindness is manifest deep inside Elohim. Yud K Vav K plus Kli. Yud K Vav K 26 plus Kli 60 equals 86. And so that defect, that mum, is a gavura, is an aspect of din, is an aspect of pushing away, because that person cannot serve in the temple. Maybe they're not needed to serve in the temple. That soul is rectified already on the level of the temple. And so it's really a kindness. Hashem. Yud Kei Vav Kei is manifesting utter kindness and revealing to us in a hidden way that this is a very righteous soul, a very pure soul, and as such, we should treat them with reverence, awe, and respect. Thank you.